Hello and welcome back to Capsule Closet Stylist. I'm so pleased you could come. So today I've got something quite special for you. I am going to show you 16 different ways to wear a shirt dress. Now I love shirt dresses for a multitude of reasons. They are so versatile and one of the best things that you can have in a capsule wardrobe, you know, if you really want to limit it down and make it easy to make outfits, are those versatile pieces and believe me a shirt dress is one of the best things that you can have so i've got 16 different ways of wearing it now my shirt dress is black it's quite long it's from coast um, i can put the link to it um, in the notes yours doesn't have to be black it can be any color that you choose but what i would choose is one of what i would call canvas colors so canvas colours tend to be the neutrals. So imagine things like navy, beige, stone, white, ivory, cream, and black if it works for you. So those colours work really well with a multitude of other colours. So that's why I suggest if you're gonna have a shirt dress in your wardrobe and you want something that you can utilise in the way that I'm going to in this video, then I would choose a neutral canvas colour so that it mixes and matches with the rest of your wardrobe really easily. Another thing I need to mention, the one that I have is quite long. You don't need to have a shirt dress this long. However, I would suggest around just above the knee at the shortest, just because it means then you can kind of diversify it in the way in which I have done in this video. So let's get started. So first up, I've got this slipover or what I would call a tank top over my shirt dress. I've drawn it in with a black belt, which then links in with the rest of the dress. This is great if you're going into autumn or if it's spring, but it still hasn't quite warmed up yet. It's just an extra layer. Notice that I've pulled the collar of the dress outside of the tank top. And also this would only really work if it was a tank top with a V-neck. For this one, I've done something a little bit unusual. I've tied the belt at the back, but I've buttoned each button to the alternative one, which gives it this kind of ruched sort of um, layered effect at the front. It just makes it a little bit more interesting and asymmetric. So you could only really do this with a dress that's quite long because otherwise it would make it too short. So I've done something quite different again here. I'm linking my bag in with my um, hat again, which I always advise you to do. This time I'm wearing the dress back to front. I've tied the belt around the back and what I've done is tucked the collar in into a V at the back so it looks really flat and folded the collar over at my neck so it looks like a high neck at the front. That way it doesn't look too fussy at the back of my neck. Next up, I'm going for something really simple, a stripe or a spot or some sort of detailing under your shirt dress. Open it up underneath the bust and have some of the cuffs sticking out the bottom like I've got here. It just adds an extra layer of detailing. And if you can, if you've got a different colour in that top underneath, link it in with one of your accessories like I have here with my flat Empress shoes. It's always good to link your accessories in. So here is probably my most alternative option in this collection. So this time I'm also wearing the shirt back to front, but this time I've tucked it up underneath and I've used the belt of the shirt dress to actually pull it in. And I've tied it in a bow at the back, tucking my collar down into a V. So it's like a V at my back again. And here it is again with a jacket on top. Now this sort of style would probably work best with a shorter shirt dress because there would be less excess material to tuck under around the waist. But it's another alternative here with a jacket. This option would work great for winter. You could actually use any type of jumper over the top of your shirt dress. Like I said earlier, pull your collar out around the neck and use a belt to just cinch it in. And also if it's a belt that matches the shirt dress, then that kind of actually links it all together. Here I've teamed it with the sunglasses and the hat to make the whole outfit much more cohesive. So on this occasion, I've actually unbuttoned the shirt dress to the waist and tied up the belt, but I'm wearing it with a 1950s net skirt underneath. Now you could do this with any full skirt. The only thing is you would need to make sure your shirt dress 
was at least a line so that it could cope with the extra bulk underneath the skirt and unbutton it to the waist so that it doesn't look too bulky underneath. It, you could do this with a bright colour, you could do with it, this with just simple net skirt or anything you wanted. It just adds an alternate look to the whole dress. This would also work with a pattern skirt or a sleeveless dress that fits comfortably under your shirt dress. But just make sure the skirt or the dress is the same length as your shirt dress so that it matches up nicely and looks cohesive. For this outfit, I've actually linked it with some black leather or pleather leggings. I'm also using a different coloured belt, which is the tan belt. And as you can see, I've linked that in with my tan satchel. It's always quite good to link your accessories in like this because it just kind of links the whole outfit together. So to create this look, on this occasion, I've removed the tie belt from the actual shirt dress and replaced it with this brown one so that I can link it in with my bag. So next up is a slight alternative on my last outfit. What I've done is opened the dress right up and I'm using it like a lightweight coat. So this is a really good way of maximising the usage of your shirt dress. Wear it like it's a lightweight coat. So what I've done is I've tied the belt at the back of the dress, opened it up completely and wearing it with my black pleather leggings, a white t-shirt which links in with my trainers, my black bag and my black sunglasses, which pulls the whole outfit together. So here's another completely different way of wearing your shirt dress. Tie it up in the front. So what I've done on this occasion, I've teamed it with my dog tooth check trousers, my white trainers, which link in with the white t-shirt underneath, my black hat links in with the black bag and the top. So it's a really simple monochrome outfit. This would work best with shorter shirt dresses as it reduces the bulk around the waist but if you have more bulk just tuck it up underneath and then tie it in so kind of fold it in on itself to create this look alternatively if tying it feels too bulky then what you can use is use a hairband in a similar color to the shirt dress to just hold it in place that would work equally as well just as another little idea on this, you could also try and tie this back to front. So wearing the shirt dress back to front in a similar fashion. Next up, I'm wearing it open again as more, more like a coat, but this time I'm wearing it with stripes and the dog tooth check. Now you might think you wouldn't be able to put these two patterns together. This is another alternative way of wearing your shirt dress as a lightweight jacket or coat, as you may see. So I've teamed it this time with my dog tooth trousers and a black and white stripy t-shirt. The reason why this works is because the dog tooth in the trousers is a smaller pattern than the stripe in the t-shirt. Sometimes patterns clash, but on this occasion it works. If you replace my white trainers with some smarter shoes, this actually would work for going to work. It'd be a great outfit for going to work. Really simple, but kind of an extra layer for spring or autumn. So again, it's a similar thing, but this time it's much more casual. I've got my denim shorts, the tan belt of my denim shorts links in with the satchel and I've got the striped t-shirt. So you can see how making a simple tweak like replacing the dog tooth trousers with the denim shorts can make quite a big difference in how the outfit looks. But again, use your accessories to link the outfit together. Like I have here again, but this time I'm wearing my tan belt on the outside of the dress. And that again links in with my tan satchel. I've opened the dress up a little bit on this occasion, so you could kind of go either way. Either have it done up right to the bottom or open it up like I have here. So this option is much more formal. I've got a blazer with my shirt dress and grey flat shoes, which are from Vivea. Actually, check out the comments because I can offer you a small discount there with a discount code. Now, what I would recommend you do ordinarily is have a blazer that either links in with one of your accessories or your shoes. I actually only own one blazer to be able to demonstrate this to you. But, um, but as you can see, it's a really simple way of making a shirt dress look quite formal for work or any other occasion. So last but not least, I'm wearing the shirt dress pretty much in the way it was intended. But little tip here, as you can see, the tie belt around the waist I've tied at the back. What that does is it makes the front of the dress look really flat, but still pulls it in, kind of cinches it in around the waist if you want that. 
Alternatively, of course, you can just tie it around the front. I've opened a few buttons at the bust here. If you're a little bit conscious about your cleavage, I advise you to wear a simple t-shirt or vest underneath just to kind of cover it up a little bit. I've teamed it with my black Birkenstock flats. There are so many ways to wear this classic piece of clothing, the perfect piece for a capsule wardrobe. Hello and welcome back. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you've got lots of inspiration on how you can wear your own shirt dress. There are so many different ways, they're so versatile. The perfect piece for a capsule wardrobe. Check out the comments where I've listed all the different items that I have in this video, plus some other shirt dresses for inspiration for you. If you've liked this video, please subscribe below, plus like it, give me a comment and let me know what you think. I love to hear from you. I genuinely love to hear how you're getting on, any ideas you've got for future videos and what you would like to see. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.